James Papadopoulos here, and you're watching Tex Bank at the 2010 New York Comic Con. I'm here with David Lashman, who has some pretty cool technology that he's going to tell us about. This is called Project Tuatera, and what it is is an infinite reality gaming experience. It's a gun with a projector in it? Yeah, that's right. So uh, what we did is give you the first-person perspective for a first-person shooter. So we put a projector based on lasers inside a rifle. The rifle is a game controller and it's also a mouse. So it knows how you move and every time you press a button it's like a key. Now we're going to be showing some footage of me actually using this thing. It's pretty cool. What game am I playing in this? Um, you uh, are destroying a giant bug in the game Lost Planet 2 for PC. You want it up from the inside. Do you want to hit the legs and the horns with the kneecap? Right there? Pretty much. How's that do anyway? Oh, mother Our camera can't really focus on this that great because of the way we're moving around, but when you're actually playing it, it does bring a lot, a lot of uh, more suspense, I guess. Because if, if you're playing this and you're walking around and you know something's on your left, you could kind of whip around to the left and see it. And it's being run off a computer that's in the room, but it's getting sent wirelessly to the gun? Yeah, that's correct. So we have a wireless HD uh, video in, and it's uh, basically uh, a wireless mouse on the way out to the PC. So the PC doesn't know that you didn't plug in a mouse and a keyboard. It just automatically plays with any game and any PC. Could you, like, surf the web with it if you wanted to? Um, if you like surfing the web with a rifle in your hands. And I do. And how did I do with this game? Um, you were about... I did really well. You did super. Yes, I did. So while it's just a proof of concept for now, we'll be sure to keep an eye on it and let you know when you can actually go to a store to pick it up. That's it for this episode of TechSpank. Be sure to check out the rest of our Comic-Con coverage at TechSpank.com. Till next time, I'm James Papadopoulos. Thanks for watching.